Thank you for calling Natural Selections. What can I do for you today? Hey, I'm having this weird issue where whenever I stop swimming, I can't breathe. Are you having problems swimming? Well, no, but it's just, you know, I'd like to take a break every once in a while. So, unfortunately, sir, it looks like you are signed up for the obligate ram ventilation route, which means you will need to keep swimming in order to keep water flowing through your gills. The what now route? Obligate ram ventilation. You told us a few million years ago that you were looking to specialize for a more active lifestyle, and our records indicate that at the time we did inform you that in such cases we can't always guarantee that you'll retain your buckle pumping benefits. So we did have to reduce the size of your spiracles. Wait, no, hold on. Why? Why would I lose those benefits? Wouldn't it make sense to give me the option to breathe either way? Well, no, because we save a lot of resources if you don't. So I just have to keep swimming perpetually until I die? What if I want to sleep? There are still ways to do that. Uh, some of our other obligate RAM clientele have tried drifting along slowly in a semi-catatonic state. So maybe you could try that. Ugh, I did not sign up for this. That's what they all say. Thank you for calling, sir. You've reached Natural Selections. Hey, so this is kind of a weird question. It's okay. It's just I've been really stressed out with the whole motherhood thing recently. You know, it's like every day I have to find food for the little ones. I have to groom them. I have to make sure they don't fall out of the nest. You know, it's just such a hassle. Okay, so are you... And you know, I read all those parenting books and I thought I knew what I was getting myself into, but I guess not. Ma'am, are you trying to say that you don't have sufficient resources to raise your kids anymore? Well, you know, about that, here, here, here here's an interesting thing. I was thinking, what if I could get somebody else to raise my kids for me? You know, if that if that could happen, you know, that would be great. You want someone else to raise your kids? Yeah, you know, like a nanny, except permanent. It, it, it's not like I don't like my kids. It's just that I don't want to have to feed them or take care of them or really ever see them again. Well, ma'am, we could give you a few behavioral tweaks to make it easier for you to drop your eggs into the nests of other birds but I must warn you that this is not an entirely risk-free option. Hey, as long as it gets rid of the kids, I don't care how risky an option it is. In that case, uh, I will see what I can do. Thank you. You've reached Natural Selections. Hey, uh, do you guys have any idea what happened to my right claw? Yes, Mr. Fiddler Crab, right? Uh, let me take a look. I remember we had to buff it out a little. Yeah, well now it's like way too big. It's like the same size as the rest of my body. So. Sir, based on your records, it looks like you've been getting into a lot of fights with the other males of your species. Is that correct? I mean, I used to do that all the time, but nowadays our claws are so big we can't even really use them for fighting. So we just sort of stand there and wave them in each other's faces, and then the one of us with the smaller claw backs off. So that's the problem that we have with reducing your claw size, because if we made your claw smaller, then you would have to back off every time, which would mean you would never reproduce. But none of us even really like having these things anyway. Can't you just... I don't know, simultaneously make them smaller for everyone? Unfortunately, that's not possible, sir. So what happens if my claw keeps getting bigger, huh? Pretty soon I won't be able to walk. We will make sure it stops growing before it becomes a serious impediment, don't worry. Oh, okay, so that's how this company works. You'll keep making my life more and more inconvenient right up until the point where it impacts my survival, but not past then. That's such a relief. I feel so much better. You're very welcome, sir. That was sarcasm. And I don't know what that means. You have a nice day. You've reached Natural Selections. Hey, do you all want to explain what happened to all my eggs? Your eggs? So a few months ago, I left my eggs in my nest to go get food, and when I come back, all of my eggs except for one have disappeared from the nest. And you know, I said to myself, Mrs. Warbler, you know, that's weird, but sometimes that sort of thing can happen. You know, maybe there was a strong gust of wind or something. Mm hmm I see. But I soon start having suspicions of the contrary when that egg hatches, and what comes out but a bird that looks nothing at all like a reed warbler. It was all gray, and it had a very orange beak, and it quickly grew to be two or three times my size. Mrs. Warbler, I'm not entirely sure I follow what you're trying to say. I'm saying that some other bird, the mother of that bird tricked me. And you know, I've been reading about how this company works, and I know that if that bird knew how to trick me, it had to be because you gave it some behavioral benefits so it would know how to trick me. Ma'am, I'm afraid we have a strict privacy policy as pertains to the records of our other customers. You all trained that bird how to infiltrate my nest, didn't you? Ma'am? I knew there was something fishy going on. Y you know, what's the point of paying for this subscription service if you're all gonna stab us in the back the second you- Ma'am, if you're willing to cooperate, I'm certain we can work out an adaptation to help you through this. Oh yeah? And what's your idea? Well, one thing we could do is we could add some distinctive brown spots to your eggs to make it easier for you to distinguish your eggs from those of the imposter. Do you think that would help? And if I say yes, how sure can I be that you'll hold up your end of the deal? You can trust us, ma'am. Your satisfaction is our, um, it's one of our priorities. One of them? You have a nice day, ma'am. 
You've reached natural selections. Hi, I'm a little confused. What are you confused about, sir? I've been trying to cancel my subscription for like 60 million years, but every time I think I've done that, I just get another charge to my account during the next billing cycle. I am very sorry to hear our services and to your satisfaction, sir. Well, you know, it's just the subscription used to be worth it when there were a lot of other people I knew who were using it, but the rest of my family canceled their subscription periods ago, and I'm thinking, you know, maybe it's time I logged off. Well, in that case, I can walk you through the cancellation process. If you navigate to your homepage and you look at the upper right-hand corner, Corner, you should see an account settings button. Uh, okay. Now, if you navigate to the bottom of the pop-up menu and you click on the- Wait to it, Tara. What are you doing over there? Oh, God. Are you trying to cancel that subscription again? Why do you care, huh? It wasn't long ago when you almost got me to cancel it by bringing those stupid rats into the house. I told you, you're the only living member of the Rinkosophalians and a protected species. Do I have to put you in a conservatory again? I I'm, I'm sorry. This is a bad time. My roommate is throwing a fit. I'm going to have to call you back. You can call us back anytime, sir. You've reached natural selections. It didn't work. What didn't work? Those stupid reed warblers are catching on to me. They're pushing my eggs out of the nest. I am very sorry to hear that, ma'am. You all didn't have anything to do with this, did you? Unfortunately, I am not at liberty to say. So what am I supposed to do? I literally don't have the resources to care for my own kids anymore. I'm certain we can work something out. Let me just pull up your info and, uh... Yeah, so I think the problem, ma'am, is that your eggs are not similar enough to those of Mrs. Uh, of, of the Reed Warbler. You have been helping her, haven't you? But I'm sure with a few tweaks, we can add in some more brown spots and make your eggs look just like hers in no time. How does that sound? <laughs> uh, fine, just don't let this happen again. Of course not. You've reached natural selections. It happened again! What happened, ma'am? Those stupid cuckoos are putting their eggs in my nest, and now I can't tell their eggs from my eggs because their eggs look just like my eggs. Did you all do that? So we have a strict non-disclosure policy oh, as- non-disclosure policy, my cloaca. You all are gonna be the death of me if you keep helping other customers at my expense. Don't worry, ma'am, we aren't there yet. So what are you gonna do about it, huh? Well, um, we can add more brown spots to your eggs. And what happens when the cuckoo's eggs start magically getting those spots as well? We'll add more spots. So you're telling me I'm in a brown spots arms race with another one of your customers where the cost of failure is extinction? What kind of company is this? The only one that exists. You have a nice day, ma'am. Ugh. I should never have survived that stupid asteroid.